Hey everyone, Kappa Man here and welcome to another Yokai Quickie. Previously, we reviewed the first episode of the crazy Yokai Tokusatsu show, The Ancient Doga Girl. Well, let's continue on and check out episode 2 as promised. Did I promise that? Ugh. Anyways, on with the show. We open on a student checking out a uh, educational magazine when one of the teachers catches him, confiscates the nudie mag, and sends him off. The teacher's ulterior motives are quickly revealed, however, when he also sneaks off to check out the busty ladies within, but not before being caught by a new teacher. She notices his obsession and lures him in with her own ample display. We then hear his screams as some terrible fate befalls him just out of focus. Meanwhile, we join Doku-chan settling into her new home along with her robotic buddy Dokigoro, both now living with the teenaged Makoto and his father. As Makoto has decided to get out of the house and go back to school, of course Doku-chan wants to experience this as well and demands to be brought along. Luckily, they had a spare Sailor Fuku on hand and the two head off, leaving Dokigoro behind. Shintaro, Makoto's awkward friend from the beginning of the episode, continues his crusade to find the bustiest of beauties while complimenting Doguchan on her assets. She makes short work of him and the three head off to science class where the other students immediately start to gossip about the new girl. This bickering is silenced by the arrival of the woman from earlier, the same one who brought a doomed fate upon the male teacher. Shintaro, being as perverted as ever, is impressed by her display, and she gladly informs him that she is an H-cup. Of course, Doguchan isn't swayed by this, as her heightened senses quickly pick up the scent of a yokai. She throws off the school uniform and challenges the teacher, yelling for Dokigoro to combine with her and create her battle armor. Unfortunately, Dokigoro is sealed in a box as Makoto's father is taking him for further research, leaving Dogochan defenseless. This is when the teacher, uh, well, uh, pulls a nipple out of her shirt and throws it onto Dogochan's head. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm confused and aroused. This sticky nipple attack incapacitates Doguchan, and two school security guards, persuaded by the teacher's uh, persuasion tools, takes her and Makoto off. Dokigoro is finally able to break free and rushes off to find Doguchan, while Shintaro, whose feelings of friendship managed to overcome his teenage urges, confronts the teacher in private, hoping to set his friends free. She tries to use the same alluring technique she did on the male teacher earlier, and in doing so reveals she is in fact a busty bee-yokai with a pair of stingers that would put Dolly Parton to shame. Uh, does that reference work? Do people know who Dolly Parton is anymore? Yeah, moving on. Jintaro is stung but escapes with the help of another student, and begins to develop breasts of his own. A teenage boy's dream come true, some might say. But we then come across the male teacher who isn't dead, but has also grown a pair of his own, and begins to float in a pretty hilarious sequence. In the gym, we find that Dogochan and Makoto have been sealed in a storage room by means of a... Uh, nipple pentagon. Makoto struggles to remove the one stuck to Doguchan's head, and they both learn that they cannot escape on their own. Shintaro and the girl are surrounded by more boob zombies, and things are looking bleak until Dokigoro shows up and tells the two to follow him. They find the room Doguchan and Makoto are trapped in, break the nipple seal, and the group head off to confront the bee yokai. Outside, we see those infected with the enlargements begin to float into the sky and explode. And just why is this queen bee attacking people? She explains that long ago, women with big breasts were turned away and seen as less desirable. Eventually, the spirits of those rejected befuddled buttes came together to form the buxom bee yokai where she now takes her revenge in an era of large boob obsession. Fearing Shintaro will meet the same fate, Doguchan once again transforms, and the battle ensues. More nipple trickery is used, but in the end, the yokai is put to rest, and Shintaro's chest is returned to normal. This was a fun episode, and just reinforces the ludicrousness of the series. 
If things keep along these lines, we're in for a good ride. And speaking of rides, in the next episode, Dogo-chan gets up to some bicycle shenanigans. So thanks for watching this yokai quickie. And if you have a movie or show you'd like me to review, just let me know in the comments below. You can also follow me on social media at the links in the description to see what's going on behind the scenes. See you next time.